I, I believe divisioning is uh, important because we have so many very various level of abilities and uh, if we division properly and make sure everyone has an honest effort, we can get the best uh, competition experience uh, not only for the athlete but everyone attending and watching the competition. Special Olympics is founded on the belief that all people with intellectual disabilities deserve the opportunity to train and compete in sport and to have the chance of achieving success whether that is a personal best or a gold medal. Special Olympic sports competitions are based on the idea that athletes of all abilities should be given an equal chance of succeeding. We do this through a unique process called divisioning which groups individual athletes or teams according to gender, age and most important by ability levels. Divisioning is a unique process that is a cornerstone of our program and it is required at all levels of Special Olympics competitions and in all sports. Divisioning is the most important part of a Special Olympic competition. It ensures that the athletes will be competing against other athletes of equal ability and that's really the only way to give them meaningful competition. Straight away I recognize the value of divisioning and the purpose behind divisioning around giving athletes the best opportunity at their ability to participate. Divisioning is the most important part of any sport within Special Olympics. I think uh, any race you can watch where it's right down to the wire is always uh, most enjoyable and uh, I believe that's why divisioning is so important in Special Olympics. According to Article 1 of the Special Olympic Sports Rules, there should be a minimum of three and a maximum of eight athletes or teams in a division. There should be no more than a 15% difference between the highest and lowest skilled athlete or team. This is a guideline, not a rule. An example of this appears in the following graphic. In this competition, for instance, there are 13 athletes entered in a 25 meter event. The preliminary times range from 11.3 to 19 seconds. In order to group athletes so that there is no more than a 15% difference, you have to divide this group of athletes into three heats. The Games Management System, also known as GMS, is a software system that is a powerful tool used to help organisers run quality competitions. One of the features of GMS is being able to use the system to division your event. Divisioning is normally a two-stage process. Prior to the competition, a time or distance is submitted for each athlete. Wherever possible, divisioning events are run at Special Olympics competitions and the results of these are used to determine divisions for finals. Of course, in many sports, there is no time or distance that you can use to assess ability. Examples would be judge sports like gymnastics, racket sports such as badminton, and team sports. Here we use various ways of assessing each player or team's ability, such as a player rating or skills assessment form, which is submitted by a coach prior to the event. Then, at the competition, there will be a series of short matches between athletes or teams to assess their ability in a game situation and they will be placed in final divisions by a committee appointed for this purpose by the competition management. To maintain the integrity of Special Olympics competition there is a maximum effort rule by which an athlete or team who performs significantly better in finals relative to their entry or preliminary event may be subject to disqualification. The coach of each athlete or team plays a critical role in ensuring fair divisioning and minimising the chance of their athlete or team being disqualified. Clearly, an accurate score or skills assessment cannot be submitted if the coach does not know how the athlete or team performs in competition. In order to create good divisions and equal competition, it is critical for coaches to submit their athletes' best times or scores to competition organisers prior to the event. It is the responsibility of the coach to inform competition management if their athlete or team performance in a preliminary event did not accurately reflect their ability. When the divisioning process has been completed, there will be instances 
where there will still be less than three competitors or teams in each division. Where this is the case, the following process should be used. According to Article 1 of the Special Olympic Sports Rules, modify age groups, modify ability range, combine genders. Article 1 specifies the age groups which should be used when divisioning athletes or teams. Let's look again at our 25 metre race. This time we have added age groups to the mix. If we use the principle of applying gender, then age group, then ability, we get this result. The concern here is that we now have four divisions, but two of them have only two athletes. By combining two age groups into one, based on the athlete's qualifying score, we now have three divisions, all with at least four athletes, and without exceeding the 15% ability range. To summarise, remember that you division a Special Olympics event by gender, age and most importantly, ability. Good divisioning is critical to running a successful Special Olympics competition. You are trying to ensure that competition is meaningful with as many athletes as possible in a division, while at the same time giving every athlete or team a reasonable chance at success. This can be challenging when you have athletes or teams of widely differing age ranges and ability levels. But remember, good divisioning is an art, not a science.